I joined the airlines in 1986, um, started off as a stewardess, worked through the rank until I reached in-flight supervisor and um, became an in-flight auditor after that and got promoted to um, cabin crew executive um, in total 25 years of flying and 10 years as a commercial girl. It brought me to a lot of destinations that we don't even fly to. Even on a holiday, I won't go to those places because it brings you up on mountaintops, to the safari. You know, you are practically uh, uh, doing your, uh, being filmed with the animals in the safari and then up on the mountaintops under the waterfalls. Never in my wildest dream will I think that I will ever be the face of the airlines in the 90s. To be selected for Madame Tussauds, of course, to be immortalised, as they said, it is something that I can't describe. It is a really... Uh, nobody has ever had that honour and I don't know if there's going to be another person who will ever be selected again to be immortalised. I did two years of the regional fleet before I went on to the 747. It was a, in a way, we look forward to it because it's prestigious to fly in the 747. And um, 747 means more direct destinations. It brought us to uh, many destinations that in the regional fleet, we wouldn't get to do it. We also associate that as being more premium than the original fleet. I remember we did a flight whereby we had the golden caviar and there were ice carving of the uh, SIA logo with smoke effect. We rolled up uh, the trolley with the golden caviar with Krug champagne and those days we haven't started serving Krug champagne in first class yet and we had a chef on the flight. So, I can't remember exactly what, what was that occasion, but we had that and that was one thing that stuck in my head now that I, I, I just can't get it out because it was so beautiful when the whole cabin was dim and you, you get that ice carving and the smoke effect coming out with the lights shining up, you know, and that was just amazing. In the 747 those days, we had a trolley service in first class. We did roasting on the aircraft. I don't know if we can still do it with today's oven, I don't know. But those days we could do it and it was just fantastic. The serving was different because it's from a trolley. One hand, you know, the serving gear and then you do the plating. It was a real plating in front of the customer. So today is different, it comes from the galley. It's being plated in the galley and it comes out and being served to the customer. But those days you do it in front of the customer. If we were to do a trolley service today, I wouldn't know if the passenger is going to like it like how they liked it those days. So it's a different expectation. Yeah. As a crew and in terms of the aircraft layout, 744 had one of the best layout. Um, the galley, huge galley, um, configuration was good and uh, it was very easy to work in. Ask any senior crew, and they'll tell you 744 is one of the best aircraft to work in.